Hey guys, it's the Gwensi Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to focus on showing you a few face masks that I created and animated with Shady Graph. So I'm going to show you the first one, which is the one that I like the most. It has a superhero type texture. It also has outline and a lot of emission and that's why it's so bright. Let me show you the other one. And this one is a little more obscure. It just has a red color. It's the same texture that I used before for the other videos that I that I showed you previously just the same cartoon texture and you know everything works it's it's very, really precise so let me go ahead and jump into unity and show you a couple of things so first of all the shaders that I have in here that are animated they're gonna be under the shaders folder and I have two shaders one is gonna be the cartoon animator underscore one and this one is gonna be cartoon animator underscore two this one is assigned to the number one and then this one is assigned to number two and this one is just the reference that i use for the uv map the reason why i have spheres in here is because during development i want to see the results of the shaders and i apply to you know i apply that shader to those materials and but normally if you're going to build this to the device because i'm going to be, I'm going to be putting this in github make sure that you uncheck the references because i don't want you to see those when you're running the experience otherwise they might be on the way so for now this is just for reference purposes so let's go ahead and look at the graph for the first one which is the cartoon animated underscore one and it's going to walk you through some of the notes that i have they're really simple to be honest there's really not a lot to them so the first thing that i have is i have a node of, of time and i'm using the sign time connection to connect it to the rotation so I'm saying, okay, time, grab that time value and associate it with the rotation on the rotate node. I also use 0.5 and 0.5 for the center of the, of the rotation node. And then I'm using radians because if you use degrees, it doesn't really give you a lot of motion. So I decided just to use radians and that gave me the look that I was looking for. I'm also using a sample texture through 2D because I want to use some of the textures that I already have. As you can see, this is the one that I already have here under textures and it's the one of type cartoon. So I just added that node by just clicking on a space here. And then if you hit, if you search for sample texture to this, you're going to see that that is in there. So what I did is I grab, I grabbed the output from this node and associated with the UV node. And now we can get a little bit of a rotation here. So the other things that I also did is of course I associated the texture. So make sure that you select the texture that you want to use for your face mask. And then the other things that I have in here is I didn't want to use the same color that I had originally. And if I wanted to use the same color, I could, you know, simply just don't add the color of writing here that I have as that I have as red. And and you can use, you know, if you wanted to use white color or a different type of color. And in our case, if I wanted to do that, then we could have done that as well. And you're gonna see that that's going to it's going to look, you know, cool as well. I just wanted to use something different, and that's why I decided to go with the red. And then I just click on save asset to apply those changes. So this node is, is one of the nodes that I use a lot if I want to combine outputs. So normally what you do is you grab a node that gives you a result. In this case, it's a color. And then in this case, we're gonna get a texture. So I grab those two results and then I combine them by using the multiply node. So I connected the output from the first one to the letter A and then the output from the second one to the letter B. The output of those two, I associated with the albedo, and that's what gave me the look and feel that you're looking at right now. I can also overwrite here if I wanted to get, you know, maybe lighter, or if I wanted to change this color, you can, you know, you can play around with that. I'm gonna leave it as how I had it, because I like that look, like I said. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, at the second one, because it's actually very similar to this one. It's gonna click on the number two. And the only difference here, it's going to be, it's going to be the texture that I'm assigning. So I'm still using the sign time, same node, which is the rotate node. And I'm also using the sample texture 2D. I'm using the color and then the results of the sample texture 2D and assigning that to a multiply node. Then with the value of the multiply node, which I use the output, I just assign that, assign that to a blend so that it gives me a little bit of a different color. And you can change the modes in here if you wanted to do you know, if you wanted to do more of a burn color, or in this case, it doesn't really look, but let's say, let's try lighten. You can see how that makes it a lot lighter. We can do, let's go ahead and try multiply and see what that gives us. And you know, the, there's just so many things that you can do in here. I'm just gonna use, let's try a screen, and then I'll change it back to what we had. And then we can just do overlay, which is what, what I just had. 
and then of course you can mess with the plane and also the opacity here if you wanted to change the opacity make it darker you know it just really depends on what effect that you're looking for it's going to click on save and then this one is also associated with the albedo so those are the two effects that i have in here and in the previous video i showed you how i could assign the different basically the different rendering pipelines in order to accomplish you know using shader graph with air foundation so if you didn't watch that video make sure you watch that video because it's going to teach you how to get the rendering pipeline which i have here on the rendering which i'm using the forward rendering mode and also universal rp in order to make this work so if you guys have any other questions about anything that i just showed you please let me know in the comments and also make sure to check this out in github because i'm going to be posting this in the next few minutes so it's going to be available for you to download thank you very much guys